Hello and welcome to NBA Talk with Jordan Valdez. First things first, let's get to today's matchups. And our first matchup is uh, Kirk Heinrich versus Chauncey Billups. Kirk Heinrich is the starting uh, point guard for the Atlanta Hawks. He can also play shooting guard. He was traded from Washington to Atlanta um, around the uh, midseason mark, right before the trade deadline this season. Um, Kirk Heinrich can also play shooting guard. He's a very, very good defender, one of the best uh, combo guard uh, defenders in the entire NBA. Um, he's also a very good uh, three-point shooter. He can really hit those when he needs to. Um, you know, I think it was actually a pretty good trade for Atlanta. However, they did lose Jordan Crawford, who ended up uh, really uh, doing well in Washington uh, once once the trade was made. Uh, didn't get much playing time in Atlanta, but you could tell he was going to be good um, once he uh, developed a, as a player. Uh, Chauncey Billups is the starting point guard for the New York Knicks. He's part of their big three of Billups, Mello, and... Um, Amari, uh, he he was uh, also traded uh, from a different team at the midseason mark. He was traded from Denver to uh, New York in the huge mellow trade. Um, he he won the championship with the Pistons. Um, had some very good years in um, Denver. Um, he's been an All Star. He's a really really good point guard. He's still one of the elite point guards in the league. He's very underrated. He's a veteran point guard. And he's very good. And I'm going to give this matchup to him because Kirk Heinrich, very good defender and very good three-point shooter. But Chauncey Billups, he's been an all-star. He has the NBA Finals experience. He's the better point guard right now. So I'm going to give that matchup to Chauncey Billups. Our next matchup is Carlos Boozer versus Tim Duncan. Carlos Boozer is the starting power forward for the Chicago Bulls. Um, he was another player in our matchups that's been traded. Uh, he was traded... Uh, uh, oh, actually, he wasn't traded. He signed as a free agent with um, with Chicago. Uh, he was on Utah during the 2009-2010 season. Then he signed as a free agent in the offseason with Chicago. Uh, but uh, although he wasn't another uh, trade, he was another player that we've got that um, ha was on a new team during the 2010-2011 season. Um, he really made an impact because you saw they didn't make many other moves, but before they had him, they were the eighth seed in the East, and then when they got him, they were the one, number one seed in the East this season. So he really made a big impact with them. Uh, one of the better power forwards in the league, a little bit undersized, only six foot nine, uh, but he really he's really strong and he really gets his way inside. Tim Duncan, a veteran power forward. Um, for the San Antonio Spurs, he can also play center, but he starts a power forward. Uh, he's, uh, he's seven feet tall. Um, he has a nice mid-range jumper, but he also has some uh, very good post skills. Um, really, his scoring dropped this season a lot, but uh, the, he did lead his team also to the number one uh, seed in the West. So Carlos Boozer was on a team that was the number one seed in the East, and Tim Duncan on a, seed, on a team that was the number one seed in the West. Uh, obviously, Tim Duncan's team was um, upset by the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round. Uh, Tim Duncan tried his hardest, uh, but he's old, getting older now. He's not the same player he used to be uh, back when he uh, was winning uh, titles like crazy. Um, but uh, he's still very good. Uh, and I'm going to give this matchup to Carlos Boozer, though. Carlos Boozer has been a huge impact on... Um, uh, on Chicago, I mean, they both led their teams from being a uh, once a uh, different seed to uh, um, to the one seed. Tim Duncan, not he wasn't the his team wasn't the eighth seed in the 2009-2010 season. They were the seventh seed, but still, it's very impressive. Uh, but he was on the team then too, so it's a little bit different. But Carlos Boozer deserves this matchup. He's a very good player. Uh, Tim Duncan, obviously, in his prime, way better than Boozer, but right now, Boozer is better. Now let's talk NBA headlines. Tony uh, Ronzone leaves position as Minnesota Timberwolves assistant general manager. Um, get your and also I wanted to mention get your NBA questions answered on air. You can email uh, any basketball questions to NBA Talk at inbox.com and we'll answer them on the um, NBA Talk webisode. Thank you for watching NBA Talk with Jordan Valdez and I'll see you next time.